Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the Jiyun Focus and Zoom module. We got two attachable gear rings here, two motors, one called Focus, and the other one called Zoom slash Focus. Beside that, we will need those two cables. They give you extra rails. This is if your lens is even longer than this version. So you can extend this by just screwing them on here. Beside that, there are also some other mounting points for the previous generations of steering gimbals. Okay, let's first start building the camera package. Now to demonstrate a very, very extreme scenario, I'm gonna use a 7200 lens on there and we're gonna put on the quick release plate. When we put on the quick release plate, we will quickly notice that this lens is actually wider and it will scratch here on the quick release plate before this screw can get in here on the back. So that means we're gonna have to have a riser. This is the riser that also comes with your gimbal. We're gonna place it here. Make sure that this screw is very tight because otherwise if you have to re-tighten it, you have to get this plate off again. Now we install the quick release plate. I'm going to recommend to put it in a position that you feel it's gonna be almost roughly balanced. And also the rails should be able to have the modules reaching both of the rings, the focus ring and the zoom ring. In this case, I would decide somewhere here. Now before we attach these, let's first put the rings on. Because our lens is a photo lens, it doesn't have gears on there. So that means we'll have to use these gear rings to attach them on there so the motors can grab the lens. Let's put on for the zoom lens first. I'll make sure that the focal length is somewhere in between so I can have this little connection part in the middle. If it goes either way, it won't hit the motors. This is very important and a good trick. I'm also going to place it more into this direction since I know that on this side, we're almost at the end of the rails. Make sure that you can get them as tight as possible to get a good grip. One last time, go through the ring and make sure it stays on the same lane. Try to move this one also in the middle. Now let's attach the modules. First we'll attach a zoom module. Both modules I'm gonna actually attach them on the camera's left side. The reason being is if we put it on this side, on the right side, it will actually very easily hit here. But if we have it on the left side, it has more room. We slide it in here, make sure the gears are aligned and tighten. And next one, slide it in, align properly and lock it in place. All right, let's put it onto the gimbal. We'll put on camera package here, have it roughly in place. Now we're gonna use these two cables provided in the box and connect the motors to the gimbal. We'll attach them here. Now on this side, here are the connection parts to the gimbal. We'll take the one from focus and put it into the focus one. We'll put the one from zoom into the zoom one. The focus works. And the zoom works. As we can see, for example, the focus one, it takes a bit of time to change it. So if you want to increase the speed, we can do that in the menu. Go for wheel, sensitivity, and put it on high. Now I've finished setting up the wheel to be faster in its sensitivity, and we can see that when I change focus, it's very rapid. Okay, that should make your camera package work with manual lenses or cameras with bad autofocus, like this one. 